I want to talk about as well your spell in Togo where you clashed with uh, Emmanuel Adibayor. Did you feel pressure after uh, well, clashing with the greatest ever player passed by Togo? Did you feel that pressure? Um, no, not really. To be honest, uh, I came in a very difficult situation in Togo. I, I was 15 months coach of Togo. And in these 15 months, I experienced three uh, federation presidents. So three times in, in 15 months, normally uh, one president has three coaches. But I, I'm a coach who, who had three different uh, federations. Um, the president uh, and the whole federation got changed, got fired. A new president came as interim president and later came uh, another president. So I had three presidents and I had two ministers of sports. So in 15 months, Togo, three federations, presidents and, and two ministers of sports um, didn't make it easy in the way that people had also opinions. I arrived in, uh, I arrived in Togo and at that moment of time, um, not everyone was so happy uh, with, with Adebayor, his star attitude and He's a fantastic player and probably he is the best player I ever worked with uh, in my life. Uh, former Real Madrid, Tottenham, Arsenal, a brilliant player. Uh, but the problem is that um, he, he put himself at that moment, or the public put himself above everyone. But I had also other good players. I had Dossipi from Olympiacos Piraeus. I had uh, Romao from Olympic Marseille. I had uh, Floyd Taite from Fulham. I had many players playing in good teams in Europe. And as a coach, um, you have to manage the team and uh, it's important that uh, you don't give too much privileges to one player because if I give one player, I, I tell you the story what happened with Adebayor. I, I, my first match, I was an interim coach uh, in, in Mauritius. Adebayor was not invited, but I was not the one who made the invitation. Then I get really appointed and we have a qualification match against uh, Liberia and Two weeks before that game, we have a training camp. It was in June, and we would play. Um, we will start on Sunday the camp, and Monday after, uh, eight days later, we will play Ghana in French. And Sunday evening, everyone is in camp except one player. Adebayor is not in the hotel. Okay, no problem. Tuesday we train. Uh, no Adebayor on training, not in the hotel. Wednesday, uh, uh, Monday was it? Tuesday, no Adebayor. Wednesday, we trained, and we trained always about 5,000 people every time in stadium, a lot of camera people. And we are training, and um, uh, after, after 45 minutes, a motorcycle comes in the stadium, on the track. A motorcycle with two wheels in front, one wheel in the back, guy leather suit, helmet on, uh, he steps off, tall guy, he do his leather clothes off, and he has training clothes off with the team. 5,000 people start, oh, the guy runs over the pitch and he say, coach, I'm Shay Emmanuel Adebayor. I said, yes, I know. He said, can I train with the team? I said, I invited you. Uh, I expected you on Sunday in the camp. I said, uh, but I didn't want to make uh, uh, in public a, a problem. So I said to him, okay, make warming up. And you play, we were playing 11 against 11. Uh, and um, so he, he trains, but I tell him, okay, you train uh, the team with 10 players, you play with them. Uh, but after training, please come to the hotel because I want to talk to you. He said, okay, coach. Um, so he, he comes on the pitch. He played fantastic training, fantastic. We go to the hotel. We eat. No Adebayor. Not in the hotel. Thursday training. No Adebayor. Not in the hotel. Not in training. Friday, we play against 11 against 11. Who comes? Two minutes. Uh, we are starting two minutes later. No motorcycle, but Adebayor. So after training, he comes to me and say, coach, I'm ready for Monday for the friendly against Ghana. I said, I don't think so. I said, he said, but I'm, I'm on the bayor, I'm the captain. I said, no, you have to be in camp. You have to train with the team. You have to be in the hotel. We have tactical meetings in the hotel. We, I expect dis discipline. I mean, if I ask my players not uh, to go out, not to bring uh, girls in the hotel, not to drink alcohol, um, but one player is not in the hotel, how can I keep discipline if I accept from one player to, to be not there and the other players have to, to be disciplined. I mean, you are a group, you are responsible as a group and everyone is part of that group. So I, he said, yeah, but I will come uh, by private plane to, to, to Ghana. I said, yeah, but you don't, you cannot play. So he came, we were in the dressing room. He knocked on the door. Uh, we locked the door 
uh, and he went to the dressing room of Ghana. He was sitting with Arvin, Arvin Grant, who was the coach of Ghana, and with uh, Guyan. He was sitting in Asoma, and so he was sitting in their dressing room. And during the game, he was sitting on the stands. And uh, the day after, we, we, we come back together in, in Togo uh, to prepare our qualification match against Liberia. And who is the first one in the hotel? Adebayor. Mm -hmm. He was the first one at breakfast, the first one at lunch, the first one dinner, the first one in the bus to go training, very disciplined. And um, he played against Liberia and we went 2-1 and Adebayor scored the winning goal. And till now, I'm still in touch with him because when I played with, with Gambia against Togo, um, he was with Togo and he hugged me, we spoke, we are in touch with WhatsApp. Uh, uh, now and then we chat because he is a fantastic player. He is probably one of the best African players uh, in the last uh, 10, 15 years. But naturally, as a coach, I, I have to manage more than one player. I, I have a team. And, and sometimes if you have only local based players and you will have one Adebayor, everyone will accept this. But if you have a lot of professional players, if all your players are big stars, uh, then you can't accept from one player to be different. Because if you accept it from one, you have to accept it from everyone. And as a coach, I'm, I'm responsible for the results, but the results are also made by the team. So I'm, it's important to have the cohesion in the team and to have certain discipline. I, I, I think we, we represent our country. Uh, money from the government is paid. Uh, money of FIFA uh, Federation is paid for training camps, for allowances, for bonuses. I think as a national team player, as a national team coach, you have to respect that and you have to, to be a right example. You have to, to, to behave in the hotel, uh, train well and, and, and be a good example. I think that's important for everyone. You can be a big player, but rules are for everyone there.